You wanted to steal. Now's your time. He stole from the rich and gave to the poor. What else you got? Um, of course, there have been so many Robin Hood movies over the years, going way back to the Errol Flynn version, and even one before that, I think, in the 20s. Yeah. Um, what would you say differentiates your version from the rest of the pack? Two things. Firstly, this Robin Hood uh, movie is actually an origin story. So it actually shows you how he became Robin Hood. And actually, really, he only kind of steps fully into the boots of Robin Hood, you know, to, in, the last, in the last reel, you know. So um, it's, it's, it's the beginning of the journey. But also, it's a very, very different version of the story. I mean, it's, you know, if, if people go along to this movie wanting to see the classic Robin Hood, they're going to be sorely disappointed. <laughs> you know, we've basically picked up this, 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 this you know, quaint little British fairy tale you know, and, and, and dragged it, kicking and screaming, into the 21st century. And I wanted to do a version that felt modern and felt alive and felt relatable to a new young audience because, you know, no matter what era we're in, you know, and goodness knows in the 21st century, we've got plenty of corruption from government. We've got plenty of oppression from religion. We've got plenty of corporations who are, you know, abusing people. You know, we need now more than ever, do we need Robin Hood? Do we need heroes? Do we need people who are prepared to stand up and say no? It's funny you mention that because I was thinking that during the movie how some of the, so many of those themes is exactly what you say, like police state and church corruption and stuff. I mean, we're still living that life. Totally, totally. I mean, this, and, the, and I think this is what's you know I think that's what's so amazing about about the legend and why it's lasted so long. You know, and the other thing I think is why people love the Robin Hood story is because it's the it's a story of an everyman. You know, I go along to a, a you know a big superhero movie. And you kind of, it's amazing, but unless I've got like, a, a, like an iron suit or a cape, then, you know, what can I do? You know, and you almost, the audience is almost left feeling even more powerless at the end of the movie. And hopefully this movie kind of you know, makes us realize that, you know, and, and, and it's just not just about Robin Hood, it's also about Maid Marian, because in the movie she's a very, very strong character and actually is blazing the trail for Robin Hood way before he turns up, you know. Uh, was Taryn always kind of like the guy? Did you know he was the guy as soon as you met with him? Yeah, yeah. We were, we were always very, very committed to, to, to getting him. And it goes back to what I was saying about wanting to make Robin Hood feel like an everyman, feel like we could be Robin Hood. And what Tar what's fantastic about Taron is he's got the kind of the, you know the movie star charisma but he's also a very accessible kind of likable kind of guy the girls like him the boys like him you know he's he's you know you, you can imagine you can he, he does you can imagine yourself doing what he does you know so um so he yeah we were very very committed to him there are so many elaborate action sequences in the film um fight sequences war sequences uh, is there one that you would point to that was like particularly challenging and that you think is like a standout sequence um they're all they're all really really full on to me i mean the one i like best is is the stuff that i like best is the stuff in the beginning in in syria you know, in, in arabia you know the crusades you know because that very the point of that is to very very quickly sort of slam you into knowing oh my god this feels this feels like Iraq, this feels like Black Hawk Down, this feels like, you know, and so, you know, you realize very quickly this is not going to be your normal Robin Hood movie and that actually, and, and all, we were always, always trying to make it feel, yes, sure, it's set in that time, but, you know, execute it in a way that made it feel modern and, and, and exciting. Can you see yourself uh, continuing the adventures of Robin Hood down the line? Certainly there's plenty <laughs> more for him to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, we, you know, we've, we've, I mean, the film stands alone, of course, on itself, but yes, there is, there is definitely space there for more. It depends on whether people want more. I call him Robin Hood. It's got a nice ring to it, don't you think? One thing keeps the sheriff in power. The money. I want to hit the treasury itself. How would you do it? Set up a meeting. Everyone is with us. How did you know it was me? You call that a disguise? Well, it fooled everybody else! This is suicide. The danger's what makes it fun. Can't you see? You inspire the people. This is our crusade! There are too many of them. What, for you and me? There's not enough. A thousand pounds for the man who brings me on! This is not going to end well. 